Third Weather, brought to you by Sharp Photo. Now, your 13 first alert weather forecast. Welcome back. It's about 611 right now, and our weather snapshot of the week, you guessed it, another sunrise or sunset with plenty of color in the sky. This is ironically sent to us by Dawn. This is uh, in Lynn, of course, and one of the things I mentioned earlier is that Western Wisconsin were known for cranberries, of course, as we had that cranberry story earlier, but we're also known for our beautiful skies that we see uh, pretty much every day, of course, except for those days where they may be a little bit more cloudy than we like. Otherwise, if you'd like to submit your photos to weau.com slash weather, my, may find your work showcased on Hello Wisconsin's Weather Snapshot segment. This morning, though, more on par with what we would typically wake up to in a late November morning. 24 degrees right now in Eau Claire. That's actually warmed up a degree as we have had some very thin clouds work their way in. But winds have been pretty light through the overnight, and most of the overnight has had a, a mainly clear sky. That's why we have those colder temperatures. It's allowed for more radiational cooling. But later on, these winds will start to shift more out of the southwest. We're already starting to see that towards Chippewa Valley. That's going to pump in some milder air. And we'll have some sunshine mixing in with these intervals of thin clouds that, once again, we have seen uh, mix in through the morning. Looking at our upper level flow, mostly out of the northwest for now, but off towards the west coast, this is where we have our next trough starting to form. That's going to continue sliding towards the east, and that's going to keep our temperatures on the cooler side over the next couple of days. So while we have that cold front move through later on tonight, we'll keep those temperatures likely below average through at least the middle of next week. Now that said, for today, widespread sunshine out ahead of that cold front. We'll have those winds out of the southwest, again, funneling in some milder temperatures. But by the mid-afternoon, may have some clouds start to work their way, and especially north of I-94. But later on tonight, as that cold front moves through, once again, it'll pass through dry, much like the last one. But it'll keep our winds out of the north, ushering in some cooler temperatures, despite the sunshine that we're expecting through the day tomorrow. But for tomorrow night into Friday, still hanging on to a mainly clear sky. Winds out of the north and Black Friday going to start off a little on the chilly side. Keep that in mind if you're heading out the door kind of early. But for today, temperatures mostly in the mid to upper 40s for some of us. But later on tonight, again, a lot of us dipping to the mid 20s. Once again, that's pretty much where we should be for this time of year. Otherwise, looking ahead, we have a much cooler stretch of weather. Now, Sunday does bring us just a stray chance at some uh, snowflakes, maybe a few raindrops falling from time to time. But for the most part, a lot of the day going to stay dry. Beyond that, we'll have temperatures mostly in the low to mid 30s. Overnight lows in the low to mid teens, so those even falling a little bit below where we should be for this time of year. Now for a Sunshine Award, Allison Frederick would like to nominate from the Roots Daycare Infant Room and says, as a first time mom, leaving my baby at daycare was a nerve wracking experience. The staff at From the Roots Daycare helped ease my postpartum anxiety, but showed my daughter an outpouring of love and care. My daughter loves going to daycare every day and seeing her teachers and other babies. Thank you, Miss Jess, Miss Emily, and Miss Hua for the rest of the amazing and the rest of the amazing staff from the big kids room. Now, if you'd like to nominate someone, send us an email or head over to our website at weau.com.